say it does not really matter what time of day night or evening that you listen to the on god podcast daily devotions this is your host which you know as randy aka lz but it is not about me it is about god the one we love the one we serve the one we give our lives and hearts to um the one we surrender to the one we give praise to one we give all the honor all the glory Okay, because it all belongs to him because he is Alpha and Omega. He's Jehovah Jireh. Man, I could go on all day about how amazing God is and how great God is because there is no other God. And his son, the Prince of Peace, the King of Kings, man. Jesus. Yeshua. There's so much to talk about these people. Well, they're not even people because they're gods. You know, the Holy Spirit, the one that guides us, the one that grants us wisdom. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Uh, it is morning. It's Tuesday morning, um, 7th of September. It's actually, yesterday was a f- my friend's birthday. Today is also my friend's birthday. Like, it was just birthdays galore. Uh, I love my people. I'm so grateful for my circle. Um, God has granted me amazing people in my life, and I'm so grateful. And I learned from them, like I told you guys yesterday about Justin, who has an amazing family, who's who, whose family embodies the concept of unity, and that's the topic that we're dealing with this this week and um i cannot help but strive for because elections is coming um especially with everything going on in our country unity is needed with everything going on in our communities with drugs alcohol abuse um physical abuse you know a murder uh you know with with segregation with um you know sexism and all that GBV, we need unity in this country more than ever. And it saddens me when instead of people dealing with the problem, they would rather cause separation. Um, If if a person kills someone, instead of attacking the problem of murder, we're going to attach it to a gender or a race which just causes division but i pray that the lord leads us going forward in terms of unity that we always deal with problems in unity and not attack each other based on what makes us different but and what makes a person do what they've done so we can actually deal with the problem and move forward oh lord i pray you grant us wisdom moving forward oh lord may we not deal with with problems with our emotions but with our spirit mind and use our hearts to guide us the holy spirit to guide us to lead us so that it will not be about us but be about uh to make the 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 problem uh better and the only way to make it uh, an eternal, um, graceful problem gone is for us to actually use God, bring in Jesus, and be led by the Holy Spirit in what we do. Anyways, I'd like to read some scriptures. In Acts chapter 4, verse 32, um, it reads, All the believers were one in heart and mind. No one claimed that any of their possessions was their own, but they shared everything they had. (sighs) May we also have the same mindset. May we also have the same heart to share with one another 
Paul collapsed the economy because he taught people the, the value and principles of sharing and giving. That's what we need to embody in this generation, in this era, for us to grow, okay? In Ephesians it's, uh, chapter 4, verse 23, it reads, To be made new in the attitude of your minds. Yes, Lord, grant us that attitude so we can all be like-minded. The, the last scripture I would like to read um, is Galatians chapter 3, verse 28. It says, There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is they male and female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for that scripture. Not male nor female, not free nor no slave, no Jew nor Gentile. It says we should not look at each other via our discriminations okay our gender or whatever may makes us different it says but we must look at our hearts because we all bleed the same at the end of the day lord jesus please intervene and help us to become better people with that being said i love you all peace and love